Here's a few movies to check out this week, currently on Netflix Instant. Comedy, Groundhog Day. Bill Murray plays a reporter who's stuck in a town and is reliving Groundhog Day over and over again. Essentially, to get out of it, he has to figure out what is the perfect day. This is a movie that could have gone easily downhill and gotten really boring and repetitive if not for the very clever writing and the terrific performance by Bill Murray. Everything that he's going through every day, he's trying something different, uh, he's learning things, and he keeps doing the day over and over and over again. And everything happens the same way every day to everyone except for him, unless he interacts with them in some way. I can't believe it's a 23-year-old movie, though, so more than likely, a lot of you have probably already seen this. Sci-Fi, Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. After how slow and serious Star Trek The Motion Picture was, they decided to amp up the sequel and make it a little bit more of an action film. Now, at its core, it's still a Star Trek film. There's still the camaraderie amongst the crew, and there's uh, a little bit more of the slower pace, but this one definitely was a step up from the first one. I like the motion picture, but it is more of a slower sci-fi mystery, if you will, whereas this is absolutely action. I mean, the whole final sequence is just the two starships just going at it, and it's fantastic. Horror. Pod. An ex-military guy is away hunting, and while he's out there, he runs into something. He calls up his brother to tell him not to come to the house, that he's caught something. And the brother knows that the military guy, he was suffering from some PTSD, he was screwed up in the head, and apparently had some issues before, so he wants to go out there and bring him home before he ends up hurting himself or someone else. He goes to get his sister, who's an alcoholic, and the two of them go up there to try to talk him down from whatever he's going through and bring him back. And when they get there, they find out that uh, he's completely flown off the handle and he's locked something or someone in the basement the cool thing that i liked about this was that you didn't know if he actually caught something or if he was just going nuts and they played that up very well i thought that the military brother did kind of uh, overdo it on the acting a little bit but i did enjoy the other brother and the alcoholic sister i thought they did a a, a good job of playing the worried concerned family it's not too long. It's only uh, about an hour and 10 minutes. It kind of feels like a spinoff of like an X-Files episode, which I mean that in a good way. It just felt a little more TV show-ish than movie. Family. Escape to Witch Mountain. The first Escape to Witch Mountain. Not the remake or the re-remake from the late 2000s. It's about two orphan kids that have mind control and they're trying to make it to Witch Mountain, all the while being chased by this overzealous multimillionaire who wants to abduct the kids and use them for his own nefarious reasons. I miss the old Disney movies like this and Cat from Outer Space. They just had a certain feel about them. They were family movies, but they were movies that everybody could enjoy. That's all I got for this week. I'll see you next time.